Fella. Saunders McClure, Alba Clean. Uh, Rob Nisbet, statistic. How do you mean? Um, well, I'm actually in the leisure industry. I'm in a kind of scum Duncan Ballantyne, you know. <laughs> uh, tracky bottoms, leaky trainers, <laughs> job club. I'm actually long term unemployed. No, oh, I see. One of those, eh? I can't stick that guy up. Him and a haggis dinner only one night. I'm off skate. Here, sit in your ass. We'll be getting torn into poems and the speeches soon. That's what I mean. <laughs> this is where they pipe in the special guest. Who is this special guest you might wonder to merit such a fanfare? Is it the PM? Is it royalty? Is it the Pussycat Dolls? Why, no, it is the Haggis. <laughs> In other countries, they scrape it off their shoe. In Scotland, we eat it. This could be the making of us, Ella. Exactly. And remember, the way to succeed in Scottish business is be polite, determined and charming. Personally, I'd throw in bigoted as fuck as well, but <laughs> that's just me. Oh, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone here, Ella. No, Mary, think of tonight as Jane Austen with Buckfast. We are the sweet young fillies. We work the men. We giggle. We flirt. <laughs> but when the deal goes down, we hook up our petticoats drop our frilly drawers and slap our fat balls on the table, ready to shaft them. <laughs> I don't remember that scene in Mansfield Park. <laughs> Whilst Burns was a great poet, we must never forget that he was also a bastard. <laughs> Many great men through history have been bastards. Alexander Fleming, Bastard! <laughs> Albert Einstein! Bastard! I myself am recently divorced from such an unfeeling swine. In fact, the outfit I am now wearing is completely comprised of the sleeves cut off the suits of cheating husbands by the long-suffering wives they wronged! Yeah. That's it, sister! Zero tolerance! <laughs> You know, I feel that sexism is Scotland's secret shame. Don't you? Get your hand off my knee, or I'll stab you. <laughs> Worth a shot. <laughs> I'm, I'm off to clock a McFanny. He's a drunk and a puffball kilt over there. We any luck of catching her down with slope before she hits the canvas. Hey, what about me? Me and my companion, Mr. McPaint, Rab, Rab, Mr. McPaint. Now I'll leave you two to get acquainted, eh? <laughs> oh, Rab, do it for Scotland. <laughs> Steady, Rab. <laughs> oh, Saunders, this is my business partner I was telling you about, Mary Nesbitt. Saunders McClure. <laughs> Charmed. Oh, me too. Charmed to buggery. <laughs> you know, I have many things to talk about. Yes, and one of the things that we're talking about will be your broken nose if you don't stop stroking her knuckles like as if they were nipples on the cold day at large. This is business. You want to do business with us? You watch yourself, Mary. His type don't see people. They just see units of production. Oh, really? Not your problem, is it, fella? From what you tell me, all you've produced over the last 30 years are bed sores. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here we have Exhibit A, the prime example of what's holding Scotland back in the modern age, the Glaswegian subsidy junkie. Oh, wait, no. I'm... He contributes nothing, he takes everything, except responsibility for his own wretched, spineless self, which he hands over to the pimps and dealers of Westminster. Bob, I think 
longest time we had a wee comfort break. <laughs> a comfort break? What the hell's a comfort break? Oh, just come, just come. If you mean pish, why not just say pish? <laughs> see you, boy, see you. See if bigots like you made the case for oxygen. Scum like me would refuse to breathe. So, get it right muck up you. <laughs> It's backed up to Cotter. And, oh, Cot, Cotter is playing keepy uppy against the World Cup holders here at London Park. The crowd are going absolutely. I want some power, the gift to gee us, to see ourselves as others see us. Good to see you've got your mobility back. Stay in touch, eh? See you? You look just like my ex-husband. Which one? All of them. Every last one with a... Has anybody ever told you you have the most marvellous daddies? What did you say? That is completely out of order. Sweetheart, board. you know your trouble? What? You're too good for this world. You've never been understood. Do you mean that? Or are you just being a... I'm Jamesy. I'm here to help. <laughs> there is nothing like a Burns night for bringing us Scots together, is it? I tell you, there's only people who don't know who they are that fight about their nationality. Speaking personally, I know exactly who and what I am. I'm a quiver Nalfi jelly that's dying for a swally. <laughs> God. Oh, I miss a drink. <sighs> Call me a romantic, but she a gent, she ain't only me. It's, it's like a Madeline was to Proust. The magical gateway to a lost kingdom of wild nights, fuddled days, twists and closes, fights in alleyways, guilt, ecstasy, chips, head wounds, and dainty motorway pirouettes in the fast line of the M8. <laughs> every pint, every pint a pit stop in the relentless flight from boredom. To live, to live, to have erections. <laughs> Ralph, <laughs> well, you, you, you catch me at an unguarded moment. <laughs> There's been an incident. An incident? What, what kind of incident? But, now, please, don't, don't, don't invite me to be indelicate. So, will you phone me? Of course. Bastard! 